You are specially welcome to this segment of the program. Inuagata no Sahai is still my abiable name. And I'm so delighted to come your way this morning and make your day a premium value one. Now, the subject of our conversation this morning is the culture of valuing people, the culture of valuing people. You know, people is everything. Your people, they, you know, they are your greatest asset. This just brings to mind, you know, a, a situation I experienced when I went to facilitate a training for a commercial bank in the country. You know, I went to the branch of that particular commercial bank that very day, and when I was through on training on the subject of effective teamwork, you know, for workplace productivity, you know, the, the, one of the staff there asked a question, and he said, how do you see a situation whereby whenever we are holding a team meeting to deliberate on a team issue, the team leader will only solicit for the idea contribution of a particular team members. There are over 15 team members in that branch of that particular commercial bank. But whenever we want to look at a team challenge, a team issue, a team problem, an issue of that branch, the only person the team leader will point to for idea contribution, for suggestion, is just a particular team member. And the staff that asked this question said, this has been a reoccurring decimal over time. In other words, this has become a culture, a practice in that very place. Now, when you look at that kind of situation or scenario critically, in addition to being uh, a situation of a culture of favoritism, where everybody now knows that it is NOSA that the boss loves most, in addition to that issue of favoritism, it is more of a culture of lack of value for people. It's more of a culture of lack of value for people. Now, people is everything, like I said. Your people are your greatest asset. As a leader, you need your people to achieve your goals. You need your people to achieve your vision. So you need to value them. At the very core of leadership, at the very heart of leadership, is value for people. In short, as a leader, the core of your core values should be value for people. This is so important. One of the you know, serious menace we have in Africa is lack of value for people. When you look at the leadership, you know, history of Africa or in Africa, and particularly my beloved country, Nigeria, all you are just going to see across board, every, in every facet of life, in every field of life, in Africa and Nigeria, you are going to see lack of value for people. You see leadership style that has no value for people, no regard for people, and that has not been helping us. When you still look at it today, you will continue to see a leadership style that reflects lack of of value for people. You need to learn to value people. Like I said just now, without people as a leader, there is no way you'll be able to achieve your leadership vision. There is no way you'll be able to achieve your leadership goal. This is what we must learn to uphold in this new year, 2024. We need to learn, let's learn to value our people. When as a leader you value your people, you will not manipulate them. You will not abuse them. And one way that you reflect value for your people is for you to, first of all, respect them. Now, you don't respect people because they are well-educated, they, ha they have their CV garnished with all forms of certifications and degrees. You don't respect people because of the kind of family background they came from. You don't respect people because of, uh, you know, necessarily uh, the, the, the financial, uh, you know, how financially heavy weight they are. You respect people for being human beings, first of all. You know, so as a boss, as a CEO, as a manager, as a general manager, you know, right from the security officer at the gate to the janitor that is cleaning and maintaining the hallway to every other staff in the system, everyone should be treated as human beings that they are, as human beings that God created just the same way he created you. Let's learn to value people. Another way you also show value for people as a leader is for you to add value to them, is for you to nurture them, which means that develop them, make them more viable, nurture them, uh, you know, train them, make them more viable. And in making them more viable, you are making them more useful to you and more useful to the system and organization. When your people become viable, what that means is that the organization will also become viable. This is just so 
important. Let's learn to value people as leaders. Let's learn to make sure that we are able to, uh, you know, nurture them, develop them. I'll be seeing you next week, Wednesday. When I return, I'll still remain the amiable. Inuarata no Sahai. God bless you.